So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at eight to one Banshees or an Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what is up for the week. And just to quickly remind you, and I'm going to be doing this in almost every video. This is for newer players slash people that are coming back to the game. This is not for the veteran player because or specifically the veteran player that still plays the game because you already know what's up. You don't most likely don't need this stuff. This is mostly just to catch people on for fashion because again, I'm a fashion channel. So that is why we cover most of the things aside from Banshee. Banshee was actually asked for from a person and I was like, might as well. It's super simple. So that is what I just wanted to let you know because I am tired of getting people. This doesn't help me. Are you, are you playing the game every day? Do you consider yourself a veteran? It's probably not for you, dog. So I appreciate y'all. Remember, hit the bell notification, like, comment, subscribe really does help. So to start off, let's look at for the fit for the video because I know people are going to ask me. So here is the fit. Now, this is going to be weird because like I never use the Logatus mask and I don't think it's bad. I think it looks really well with the sunlit cloak, but for the arms and the boots, Grips of the Great Hunt and Strides of the Great Hunt and for the chest piece, the Girl Falcon, obviously. So shader is going to be Noble Rhyme. I definitely like this set. I don't know what it is. I think it's the helmet just looks kind of weird. Or maybe it's the fact that the Grips of the Great Hunt and the Strides, I don't think go well with this set. Maybe. I'm going to still try to see if I can like fuck with it a little bit more. But I really want to see if I can make the cloak into what I... Because like the cloak kind of reminds me like a like an Indian sort of vibe. And I mean like from India. Like that. So... I want to see if I can make a, a set that looks good with the cloak. Like, I don't know if we have any, a lot of sets like that, or even one set that has like an Indian vibe, but I'm going to see if I can try to make that work. Cause I do think it looks pretty cool. So that is pretty much it for the fifth for the video for the shadering. So envious touch is the first one we're going to be looking at. And I, it's definitely unique when it comes to plate armor. You guys will see it has an engraving. So if you do like that, definitely pick it up. I'm not a big fan of it because the cloth is white or the I think it's the off color if I remember correctly either way not a fan of the white uh, we have new Pacifica rush worn this is the rare version of new Pacifica rush because I, again I don't know if they sold the worn versions in d2 vanilla but I would recommend it and then we have dead orbit camo which is the yeah it's the one that has the camo obviously but yeah I guess it'll look good with a tactical set. I just haven't done it yet, which I shouldn't really. As for the armor set, they're all right here. So I'm going to be honest and man, I'm getting tired of talking about the same armor set that 801 sells because I feel like she just sells the same set over and over and it's really starting to get to my nerves because at this point, I kind of just want to put the same audio that I put every time she sells this armor. But Insight Rover. I think the helmet is decent. I think the arms are cool. I think the chest piece is super cool. And I think the boots and the cloak are pretty boring. For the insight unyielding for the titans, anything that you see that's orange does not change color, unfortunately. The boots also take shaders really stupidly. Um, it just, it's really terrible. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for that. I should I should mention that the boots I use in a Mongolian look that I have, and you can definitely do that for the arms and the ch helmet as well because they do give off that like vibe, I guess. And then for the Warlocks, the Insight Victi suit, uh, the helmet and the chest piece I think are the coolest pieces. The arms, boots, and bond I think are a little too boring. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801. As for Banshee, he's selling the number with Pulse Monitor and one for all, True Prophecy with Rangefinder and Demo, Enigma's Draw with Triple Tap and Rapid Hit, uh, Shepherd's Watch with Outlaw and Opening Shot, and then Just In Case with, uh, what is it, Collective Action and Disaster Plan. So I really have no opinion about any of these weapons. Maybe Enigma's Draw because Triple Tap and Rapid Hit seems nice. But I don't even know if I <laughs> I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Man, Banshee also just doesn't sell anything good. Uh, I shouldn't say that. He occasionally sells good stuff. So I should also remind you all, for in case you guys don't know, uh, Zer is not any... I need to check... Well, it, anywho, uh, Zer is right here now. He doesn't randomly spawn anymore, which some people might not like. I like it because I just go here instead. Um... But for the stuff that he's selling, Sunshot Catalyst, definitely pick this up. Sunshot's still a lot of fun, even though it did get nerfed, if I remember correctly. Uh, Traveler, or tra Traveler's 
Chosen Catalyst, which essentially using your grenade ability partially refills the magazine and changes its weapon's damage type to match your grenade until you stow it. And then increases handling, reload, speed, and stability for each. Yeah, that's a really good, really good catalyst for this weapon. Definitely pick it up. For Gemini's, we have really high mobility, decent resilience, because once you master work this, you'll be at a 2010-8. Nah. We have Dune Marchers with some decent rolls, and then Astrocyte Verse with some also decent rolls. And then, wow, you can buy Adept Ciphers? Or, I mean, Nightfall Ciphers? That's, that's crazy, huh? And then for the stuff in here, we have Hawkman with Moving Target. We have Arbalist, which is a good weapon. Trinity Ghoul, another great weapon. The Prospector, which I'm just going to ignore. And then for the weapons here, we have Subsistence, Rage Finder for Nature of the Beast. Annual Skate with no distractions and well spring. Arsenic Bite 4B with Quick Draw and Archer's Tempo. Far Future with Slash Shock and Demo. Honor's Edge with Tireless Blade and Flash Counter. Memory Interdict with Surplus and Chain Reaction. And then Quick Fang with Relentless Strikes and Flash Counter. So I'm not really that excited for any of these weapons if I'm getting if I'm being honest. Like Arsenic maybe, Quick Draw and Archos might be nice, but I also there's also other weapons that roll better stat like better things for this so as for the armor set it's gonna be the io armor interesting so i actually love the io armor specifically for titans not so much for any other class but hunters this is for all the classes actually the mm, well, maybe not warlocks but the helmets are so clean um hunters hunt you should definitely get the helmet the arms are pretty terrible. I think the chest piece is really, really good if you want to go for a knight look. Um, arms I'm not the biggest fan of, and the cloak I absolutely hate. Titans, helmet is really, really cool. Chest piece is decent. I think the arms are amazing. Boots are amazing. I think the mark has potential. And then Warlocks, I am not the biggest fan of the helmet. It just looks kind of weird. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't like any, any of it for the Warlocks. Again, it's another thing of just Warlocks. You guys just didn't get any good pieces. I think the arms may be, may be decent. Maybe the boots. But the bond, definitely terrible. And the chest piece. <sighs> yeah, the chest piece, I'm not the biggest fan as well. That being said, and I will drop the armor right now just to showcase this. But this chest piece is the same chest piece from, um from an iron banner specific one so let me show you guys real quick um so here so this one right here so it's gonna be almost the same it's the same like armor placement and whatnot so it's almost almost a one-to-one -one, but not really obviously but if you want something better definitely go for that one i think you can get that armor now um gen the, it's just the jensen knights pieces just look weird also the, like there's this like see-through armor piece which i'm just like that looks goofy personally but yeah i i don't think it's terrible let me let me just say that i don't think it's the worst piece i've ever seen you can definitely do some cool pieces with this i just don't care to do it let me just say that so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. I, I actually hold on before we do that let me showcase the armor stats because i know people are going to ask for that So, let's go on to Eververse. And as for Eververse, we have Abyssinian Gold, which I definitely would recommend. This is one of the shaders that I showcase when we look at armor reviews and whatnot, just because uh, it's a black, and I know a lot of people don't have super black or any of the other black, so super Abyssinian Gold, I think, is the easiest one to get, um, just because she does sell it quite frequently. We have Rustberry, which my biggest issue with rustberry is just the white if it didn't have the white i think this would have been a banger shader i mean it's still a banger shader when, when it doesn't have the white and then we have brilliant idea we have sweeper simulant and then the stuff at the bottom we have erinius erinius sg1 for the conditional finality this one is amazing because it makes it symmetrical. I mean, as symmetrical as this happens, but 
the arm like the actual placement of or no placement of armor actually because the base look of this weapon has like something here and something at the bottom so it's asymmetrical but this one makes it symmetrical and nice uh, we have photoelectric shell we have exoplanet harvester That's a little, that, uh, that looks pretty cool. We have Bright Nostalgia. This one actually looks decent, like if you change the shadering to it. Like, it looks pretty cool. Uh, quick Cardio. This one always reminds me of the thing I want to do. I want to get a standing desk so that way I can put a treadmill under it so I can actually, like, work out while I'm doing videos. And then Incorporeal Cat. And then for the transmat, we have Ghost Purple. We have a Heartbreaking Entrance. We have Cabal Arrival. I was about to say Carbuncle. Um, and then for the Shaders, Curse Desert is the first one. I like this one. Um, and I, I always say this, even if it's a bad shader, always pick up a shader if you're not like 100% sure on it because you might never know when it comes into clutch like I always go through all my shaders and sometimes I'm like yo this surprised me um, seven sisters I definitely would recommend this one as well because it's one of the it's the star shader we have Jacarina which I'm not the biggest fan of this one it's a good black it's just you have to find the black and most of the time it's plate armor that turns into black and then butter bark so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from all of the classes. I, or not classes, but all the vendors. So first and foremost, I am going to be working on a few things. Some more armor reviews because I finally got the, the armor, all of it. So we're going to be doing this one. But first, we most likely we will be doing the uh, this armor right here, even though I don't want to. Um, I've been kind of neglecting it because I don't really care for the armor, but I'm going to be doing it probably the, within this weekend or this week, I should say. I'm going to get this armor probably today or tomorrow, and then I'll start doing working on all the videos. The seasonal armor, I'm going to really be honest with you guys and say that you will most likely not see me use this armor in a like, like individual class specific video in, the, in that aspect because I don't really care for the armor and it's also it's so hyper like the the theme of it is so like direct that most of the time the only armor you're going to be able to combine with that and it's going to actually look cool is going to be the armor from Ron so where you, this armor this armor is going to look really cool with it and the this armor as well can definitely look cool with it as well i also do think the resonant fury or resonant stuff uh from uh valve the disciple is going to look really cool with it that being said i don't know we'll see um at most i will probably just make a video explaining like what you can do with the armor or i'll do the individual class video either way let me know what you guys would want but for the dnd armor we're definitely going to do the whole thing where we do the review and shaders plus the individual class videos as well so the DD armor is at least going to get that, but the seasonal armor, that's the one where I'm like still debating whether or not I should do that. Um, I also am thinking about starting to use some of the older armor sets that we've gotten. Oh, I still have to do this one as well. It's just getting this armor is just going to be a bitch. So this armor I'm probably going to be farming soon. I think next Iron Banner I'm going to probably try to get this or no. I don't think Iron Banner will drop this for me. Uh, maybe next Mayhem, if, if Mayhem comes back, I'll probably do that. I want to do something that's going to be super fast and not super time consuming because, well, I guess I can do Team Scorch. I'll play a little bit of this today, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.